Come on, we're praying for justice. Listen to these words. Justice roll down. We're pressing in. You have a right to restitution from what the devil stole from you. We're going to start praying in just a few minutes. Share this with your friends. Invite your followers. Let justice roll down like a river in Jesus' name. Let it roll down, God. Let the enemy tremble. Tonight's broadcast sponsored by the Ignite Prophetic Network, ignitenow.org. Join the movement. Join the movement. Join the movement. We're going to be begin to pray in one minute. Share, invite. Hello, Australia. Come on. Oh, it's a war cry tonight. It's a victory cry tonight. Brenda Webb, so good to see you, my friend. Meditate on the word day and night. Be careful to do all that it says, and then you will find good success. Then you will find what you need to find. Yes, she can't You'll find God. You'll find Jesus. As all of them here, the word of the Lord. Megan Jordan. That echoes to the ages. Bless you. And he will not be silent. He will not be silent. Until justice. Until justice prevails. He won't quit. Come on now. Let's just roll through this one more time before we pray. Share, invite, come on. Somebody needs to hear this. Come on, let's go through this one more time. Come on. The people tremble, but all the 
Come on. We're going to pray in just a moment. Let's just, just stay here just another 30 seconds. Understand that God is a God of justice. He cannot allow the enemy to rob from you without restitution. When you position your heart rightly. Come on. Let justice roll down. to pray some atomic prayers. This needs to get up above 200, y'all. I don't want to start till we have 400 strong. Come on, share, invite, let's press. Somebody needs to hear this who is not on board yet. Come on, justice. Come on, we're going to pray for justice. Jennifer LeClaire here with you, author of our devotional evenings with the Holy Spirit, listening daily to the still small voice of God. I want to read you a prophetic word of the Lord, and I want to pray. I want to pray hard. I want to pray strong. I want to pray in agreement. I want to pray for the will of the Lord. Tonight's devotion titled, Ask Father for Restoration. And here's what I heard the Lord say. People tell you that the devil does not fight fair. That's true, of course. He's a liar and a thief and a destroyer and a killer. But always remember this. You have the advantage of the, over the wicked one because I am on your side. I never lose a battle. I can restore and redeem and reconcile the things and people, your adversary uh, that, that has tried to kill, steal, and destroy. Ask Father for restoration. Yebishti. Today's uh, tonight's scripture references John 10 verse 10, Romans 8 31, and Joel chapter 2 verse 25. And the prayer starter from the devotional, you are a victorious God and I have the ultimate victory in you. <laughs> Come on, this is good. Please restore to me what the enemy has stolen, murdered, or otherwise destroyed. Show me again how to regain that which was lost. Help me to battle until I see the spoils of war in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. I wasn't going to do a prayer call. I'm a little tired. I get up at 4 a.m. every day. But as I was settling in and settling down after a long day of ministry and conversations, I began to hear the Lord say one word, restitution. And I was reminded of the uh, Shumanite woman, Shunammite woman, who Elisha said, there's a famine come and go. And she left for seven years. And when she came back, she asked uh, the ruler, 
for her land back and he gave her all that belonged to her with interest. And so Father tonight I thank you for restitution. I thank you that you are the God of restitution. Hallelujah. You are the author of restitution. Restitution was your idea God and we praise you and we thank you and we glorify you not just because of restitution but because of your grace and because of your mercy. Because you're a just God. You just can't watch injustice and not move in response to it. You are the ultimate judge, but you are the ultimate lover. You are the bridegroom, the king. You are the judge. You are the faithful witness. You are everything. And we love you. We adore you. Not for what you can do for us, but what, what for, for just who you are. For who you are. God, you've already done so much for us. It wouldn't matter a bit if you didn't do one more thing. We would be eternally grateful for you because you saved us from the pits of hell. You saved us from any eternity in fire. You saved us from our own selves. You saved us. So we thank you tonight. We give you praise and joy tonight. We magnify your name tonight. We thank you that you are with us. We, you, you have bowed down your ear to hear our prayer tonight because restitution is on your heart. I said justice is on your heart. I said payback is on your heart. And we thank you, Lord, tonight. So we take authority over every thief, every robber, every killer, every destroyer in the name of Jesus. We say you've been caught. You have been caught. You have been caught cursing. You you have been caught stealing. You have been caught lying. You have been caught setting us up. You have been caught thieving. You have been caught assassinating characters. You have been caught planting sickness and disease in the bodies of God's people. You have been caught. You've been caught red-handed. You've been caught. You have been found out. You have been exposed. We thank you, Lord. You warned us. You warned us. You warned us. You warned us. You warned us us in your word that the enemy comes not but for to kill, to steal and to destroy. You warned us, you warned us, you warned us, you warned us in your word that the enemy roams about like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. You've warned us, you've warned us, you've warned us, you've warned us that Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. You've warned us, you've warned us, you've warned us, you've warned us about the false lying signs and wonders. You've warned us that there is evil present in the earth and and it wants to overtake us. It wants it that the sin is crouching at our door. You've warned us. We thank you, Lord, that you've warned us. And we, we've taken heed to your warnings. And we, sus we, we, we didn't sus uh, suspect. We weren't suspicious. We have discerned the hand of the thief. We have discerned the hand of the destroyer. We have discerned the hand of Apollyon. We have discerned the hand of the devil. We have discerned the hand of Jezebel. We have discerned the hand of the Absalom. We have discerned the hand of the character assassination. We have discerned the enemy at work and all of these things. The enemy discerned. The enemy exposed is the enemy discerned. Defeated. And so, that devil, we put you under our feet. And we ascend tonight. We ascend tonight. By virtue of our authority, we are seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. We are seated in Christ. We are in him. I thank you, Lord, that we are in you and you are in us. We ascend tonight and we rule and we reign as kings and priests in the earth by virtue of the authority given to us by Jesus Christ. What he died to give us was liberty, not oppression. What he died to give us was freedom, not condemnation. What he died to give us was help and wholeness, not brokenness and sickness. Oh God, we thank you for your goodness and your grace. The enemy has been caught. That Leviathan twisting spirit has been caught. That Python divining spirit has been caught. I said there's a devil on the loose but we see that snake slithering along. We see it and we shall not tolerate it any longer. In the name of Jesus, you 
you've been caught. You tried to, oh, I see that. I see that. The Lord began to speak to me about a Haman spirit. Abashte, kumbra, yeke temeshe, yeke tereveshte, a Haman spirit. You remember the story, don't you? In the Bible, Mordecai, he didn't want to bow down to Haman. Oh, and Haman was so haughty and prideful. He hated Mordecai because he would not bow down to him. Mordecai would only bow down to the living God. Mordecai understood the premise that you can't bow to, us, to you can't bow to a to, to, to God and some other spirit at the same time. His allegiance was to the Lord. He refused to bow. Some of you have refused to bow to Jezebel. You've refused to bow to greed. You've refused to bow to the wickedness round and about you. Oh, and but uh, but Haman. Oh my God, my God, my God. You know where I'm going with this. 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 Haman made some gallows. And he had an elaborate plan to see Mordecai hung on those gallows. And guess what happened? More, uh, Haman was hung on the very gallows that he created for Mordecai. I said there's a Haman spirit operating in the church. There's a Haman spirit operating in some of your workplaces. There's a Haman spirit operating in some of your extended families. And they try to set you up for a fall. But Proverbs says that he who sets a snare for another man, for another man will fall into it himself. So I thank you, Lord, that you forewarned us of the snare. I thank you, Lord, that you forewarned us of the strategy of the enemy. I thank you, Lord, that you showed us that Haman spirit in Scripture. And we will not bow to it. We will not allow it to overtake us. It's been caught. It's been exposed in the name of the Lord. So we thank you, Lord, tonight for restitution. That political spirit that tried to crucify us. We break your power in the name of Jesus. We will not bow to you. We will not, uh, con we will not uh, allow you to condescend toward us. We ask you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, to forgive us of all our sins. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness if we have entered into this type of behavior, the Jezebelic behavior, uh, the behavior, uh, the Haman behavior, the Leviathan. Lord, if we have entered into any of these behaviors or allowed any of these spirits that we are talking about tonight or any others to influence our behavior, first of all, God, we repent. We repent, God. We repent. We repent. We ask you to help us to change the way that we think. Forgive us. Cleanse us. But the Lord shows me tonight there's many of you who have kept your hands clean. You don't, you don't even have anything to repent for in this regard. Because you didn't come into agreement with that spirit. You fought it. You contended with it. But you understood that it wasn't the person. It was a spirit. It wasn't a person. It was a demonic agenda. It wasn't a person. And you walked in love best you could with the people who were haranguing you. You walked in love the best you could with the people who were crucifying you. You walked in love the best you could. You set your heart to be perfect before the Lord. And the Lord says, well done. And restitution is your portion. Vindication belongs to you. So, Father, tonight we thank you for restitution. We thank you for restitution. We thank you, Lord, for restitution. We say, Lord, let it come speedily. Let the vindication, let the justice come speedily. Lord, we pray for those who brought the offense. We pray for those who abused and accused. We pray for those who used and misused in Jesus' name. But we thank you for restitution, the act of restoring restoration of something to its rightful owner, making good or giving an equivalent for some injury. See, many of you have been injured. You've been injured. You've been wounded. You've been neglected. You've been hurt. You've been abused. You know, in the legal world, they call that, uh, what do they call that? Damage for emotional trauma. It's like some kind of compensation for the emotional part. 
Some of you, it wasn't money that was taken away from you. Some of you, it was your dignity. Pain and suffering. Compensation for pain. Emotional pain and suffering. Some of you, it was your dignity. They stripped your dignity. Some of you, the enemy stripped your identity. But I just hear that word dignity, 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 dignity. Dignity. Some of your dignity was dinged. Your dignity was demolished. It was devastated. You were put to shame. You were accused so harshly and so wrongly. We serve legal action. Defamation of character. That's right, Prophet Deb. Defamation of character. My God, my God, my God. In the legal world, they serve an action to cause restoration of a previous state. So tonight we go to the courts of heaven and we ask you, Lord, for justice against the spirits that caused this horrifying injustice. We ask for justice where injustice was served. Lord, we ask you to serve justice against the spirits that brought injustice into our life. Payback, restitution. Payback, restitution. Payback, restitution for the injustice. I thank you, Lord. I call it in now in Jesus' name. I just saw, I, I, I've never seen numbers before, so I'm just going to say what I saw. I don't know who you are. But there's somebody listening to me. I'm going to look now down at the comments. There's something. I don't know if you're listening now. You're listening live. I believe you're listening live. But somebody. I saw. I saw 10,000. I saw 10,000. Somebody. You're either. You're either expecting a $10,000. Payback of some sort. Some kind of recompense. 10,000. I don't know who you are. If, if that's you. If you're listening. If you're listening and that's you. I want to pray over you. I'm, I'm, there's so many people watch this after it goes off the air. They watch it. They watch it. They watch it later. But I heard 10,000. I'm waiting. $10,000. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to see if you're on here. I'm trying to track with these comments on two devices. You received $11,000 recently. That's the exact amount. Lady, Lady Ward, what are you saying to me? Are you saying you're owed $10,000? Okay, somebody else received $11,000 recently. Is somebody in a battle for $10,000? Was $10,000 robbed? You're owed. Sister Gerilyn, you are owed $10,000. Someone owes a Jedot, 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 they owe you $12,000. Someone owes you Cheryl $13,000. I'm seeing $10,000. You were robbed of this, uh, okay? It's you, Melissa Selena says it's you. You're going to, to Uganda and you need $10,000. Karen, you're waiting for $8,000. Lady Ward, you said, yes, Apostle, my daughter's in a battle for that amount because of medical malpractice, $10,000. You have in a presentation interview tomorrow that is a position that will be $10,000. Okay. Laura Irby said her husband is due $10,000. The lawsuit owe you $140,000. You're supposed to, uh, uh, Philotima was supposed to get $10,000, but only received a portion of it. Rhonda McKeon is owed a $10,000. Barbara Brown asked for $10,000 to settle her case. DeAndre Smith is supposed to get $10,000 for a transportation business. 
Courtney is in a lawsuit for a million. Christine is believing for 55,000. I'm just letting this run its course a little bit. I, it takes you about a minute to catch up with where I am. You took a loan for 10,000. You were robbed from 10,000 that from somebody it was supposed to, you ministered for in 2005. Your mom is waiting on a $10,000 settlement Latoya medley. Cindy is, is needing $10,000 in sales volume this month. I can't even keep up with all these comments. Believing for 2000, 200,000 for a lawsuit, student loan over 10,000. You gave 10,000 to your husband's brother to pay off a mess that you don't believe you made. Wow, so you lost 10,000. Your husband has yet to be compensated the 10,000 he's owed. You need 10,000 to move. 10,000 was taken from Dixie's retirement fund. Timothy needs 10,000 to clear his debt. V Stallings Cody has a $10,000 class action lawsuit. There's a lot of 10,000s. I know that. Well, that's probably why the Lord showed me 10,000s. You just started a job and you got $20,000 more. Amen. Carol has 11,000 in school debt. Okay. There's a lot of 10,000s. I saw the number 10,000. You were forced into a situation to take out a loan for 10000 at a very high interest rate. You need 10000 for car damage, Cheryl's. Cynthia needs 10000 for debt. You've prayed God to send 10000 so you can fix your house. Jamila's... Uh, Believe in God for ten thousand a month. You were robbed of the ten thousand dollar inheritance. And and twines Tracy. We're gonna pray over this. My stu your student loans, Kimmy, add up to ten thousand. Rhonda Ramey. Ann Balfour was was uh, scammed for thirty five thousand. Benjamin needs ten thousand for debt. Paying for provisions to go to Ghana. She needs ten thousand. The sale of, the sale of your home ten thousand. What you're asking for. This goes on and on and on. My God. Well, there's something on the 10,000. Yeah, I yeah, I need the 80,000 back is what I need. Restore 10,000 that was swindled. Gina, Becky CA needs 10,000 returned. It's on and on and on and on. Okay, let's pray over this. I'm praying over that Laura Irby is crying right now. Well, praise God. That means God is touching you. That means God is touching you. That's faith. You're in 10,000 worth of debt, Latisse. Okay. There's a lot of you. So let's, let me just pray over this because I've got to, I've got to wrap this up. My God. I, saw 10, I don't usually see numbers, and I was hesitant to say it, but now I know why. Because many of you are believing there's 10,000. There's 10, For some of you, 10,000 will be the first fruit. So, Father, I thank you that you showed me the number 10,000. You show me that number for a reason. You show me that number for a reason. How all these people on here with a legitimate 10,000, it's not just like the, I'd like to have 10,000, but they were stolen 10,000. Uh, they, they have 10,000 in debt. Well, Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm asking you now for supernatural debt cancellation, $10,000 at a time. I'm thanking you, Lord, for the, for the $10,000 debt cancellations now in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. You say that we're not to owe any man anything except but to love them. And so, Father, I say that we're going to walk in love. We're, we're, going to, we're going to try harder, not so we can earn a supernatural debt cancellation, but because your word says to walk in love. And, Lord, where we not walked in love with people, we ask you to forgive us of that debt. And we ask you to forgive our natural debt as well. These $10,000 debts, Lord, I ask you to wipe them out supernaturally in the name of Jesus. You said 10000 God. And those who are waiting for $10,000 settlements, $10,000 paybacks, $10,000 recompense, $10,000 whatever it is, however it happened, whether you loaned the money or whether, whether somebody stole the money or whether it's a, an accident lawsuit, we just decree and declare right now. That this money, this $10,000 will come into the hands of these ones represented on this broadcast. Whether you're listening to me live or you're listening to me later. 10000 
We call in the 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000 in Jesus' name. The recompense, the restitution of 10,000. And Father, you know what? You're a God of more than enough. So Lord, we say 10,000 with interest, just like the Shunammite woman. She didn't just get back what belonged to her. She got back interest. Job didn't just get back what he lost. He got back double for his trouble. A twofold recompense. Isaiah speaks of a twofold recompense. So, Father, I thank you that you take that 10,000 and you make it 20,000. I thank you, Lord. How about this? The, the enemy was caught. He was exposed. The enemy, when he's caught, has to pay back 70, seven times, seven times, seven times. So how about this? How about 70,000 payback? Lord, we're believing you for the 70,000. And Lord, when you return it to us seven times, whatever was stolen from you, when you return what was, give, what was taken from us, Lord, we will bless the kingdom. Some of you just need to make that vow to the Lord tonight that when he brings the payback, because listen, that money was lost to you anyway. There was one time when I, I, somebody ripped me off for $1,200. They ripped me off for $1,200. They ripped me off for $1,200. And I said, Lord, if you'll make this right and force that company to give me that money back they stole, I'll give it straight out to the kingdom. I don't even want it. It's the principal. And he gave me the money, and I sowed that $1,200. You know what? It was a mega seed, and I got a mega return on that. It was better for me that they ripped me off because what I got in that $1,200 seed was way more than anything I could have possibly imagined. Some of you need to commit to, to, to sowing a, 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 like a double tithe off of whatever the Lord pays you back. Some of you just need to give it all to him. But some of you, you know, some of you really need that money. You're like scrambling for it. Some of you just say, Lord, if, 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 you'll, if you'll bring this payback right now in this season, I'll, I'll, I'll bless the kingdom with it. I'll sow into whatever cause you want. I'll give a portion. Some of you didn't make that commitment in your heart. There, there's something about it because it means the money doesn't have you. It's it, it, at some level, it has to become not about the money. It has to come about the principle. It has to become about God being just and trusting him. So, Father, we thank you for restitution. We thank you for payback in Jesus' name. I thank you for the 10,000 times 7. 10,000 times 7. 10,000 times 7. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Amen, 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 amen. My gosh, my gosh. I got something I want to share with you in just a quick minute. But I want to give you an opportunity to sow into this tonight. I want to give you an opportunity to sow into this tonight. If that's you and you feel led to sow, to unlock that restitution, look... Your faith will unlock it, but sometimes your seed unlocks things. When you combine your faith with your seed, sometimes you unlock things you wouldn't have unlocked by either alone. Uh, sometimes people like to just throw seed at everything, but they have no faith behind their seed. And some people just, they have, they have faith, but, they, but the Lord will say, sow a seed on this. But they, they have faith for everything except to sow the seed on this. If that's you and you feel led to sow a seed, then I don't want to give you the opportunity to do that. And then I want to share something with you that you can get involved in that's just going to be an incredible blessing for so many of you. You can, go to, you can use jenniferleclair.org slash give. jenniferleclair.org slash give. No, it's not too late for the people to come to the retreat. I'll get back to that in a minute. jenniferleclair.org slash give. jenniferleclair.org slash give. You can use paypal, paypal.me slash jenniferleclair. paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire, you can become a partner there. The new partner resource is now up. You can become a one-time uh, giver. At, that's at Jennifer LeClaire. Let's give paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. You can't become a partner there. Can you tell I'm tired? I'm tired. It's time, it's time for me to go to bed in, nine, in 11 minutes. And I've spent the better part of my evening with you. Praise God. 754-701-2161. Text the word pray. 754-701-2161. Text the word pray. 
You can also use the P.O. Box, P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. It's my birthday month. So I like birthday cards. Send me birthday cards. I like birthday cards. I love getting mail. It's my birthday month. Be nice to me this month. No cursing me this month, please. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Amen, Joy. I look forward to those that thousand dollars in Starbucks cards. Praise God. My God, I'd be drinking coffee till Jesus came back. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen, I got a special announcement. Somebody asked about the prophetic retreat. Yes, that's still available. JenniferLeclair.eventbrite.com. You can register for the prophetic retreat there. I've decided to do the Friday night service myself so I can spend more time with you. We're going in August to Kansas City. We will spend a little bit of time at IHOP, soaking in the prayer room. A lot of you may never have been. We're also going to do a lot of fellowship. I'm going to teach. I'm going to train. I'm going to impart. I'm going to pray. I'm going to prophesy. I'm going to war for you. JenniferLeclair.eventbrite.com JenniferLeclair.eventbrite.com Amen. The Writer's Intensive is th Friday and Saturday of next week, 13, 14. If you're a writer, this is on 40% discount right now. If, if you register before the discount, I'm sorry. Don't curse me. We're running a flash sale right now. It won't last long. It's just the same as when you go to a store and you buy something and three weeks later it's on sale. It's just the way it goes. I'm sorry. I don't usually do flash discounts this late in the game, uh, but I was uh, led to do that. So don't hate me for it. The one that started working in the last hour received the same as the one who started working in the first hour. And Jesus said, isn't it my prerogative to do what I want? Amen. Get signed up for the writer's intensive. If you're going to take it online, schoolofthespirit.tv. If you're going to take it in person, Eventbrite. Or you can also sign up for schoolofthespirit.tv and just come in person. Amen. Whatever you want to do. Those were my main announcements. But I have one thing I want to share with you that's just a barn burner. On July the 10th, you're going to find this on Eventbrite. On July the 10th, I'm doing a special live broadcast. And if you miss it live, if you register, you'll get the link. It's called How Jezebel Assassinates Prophetic Voices and How to Fight Back. How Jezebel Assassinates Prophetic Voices and How to Battle Back. How Jezebel Assassinates Prophetic Voices and How to Battle Back. And I'm going to be doing this with my two brand new Ignite Network members, Dr. Naeem and Dr. Hakeem Collins. We're going to dive in deep on this Jezebel stuff, this character assassination stuff. And it's absolutely free. If you can't watch the live broadcast, uh, you'll get a link later on. So just go register. I know the timing is not going to be convenient for, for a lot of you. Don't worry about it. Go sign up. It is going to be good. Dr. Hakeem and Dr. Naeem are veterans in the prophetic. We share the same uh, CI family. And they joined the Ignite Network. And uh, you may want to join the Ignite Network as well. We're launching the Company of Seers, hallelujah, and companies of prophets in cities all around the world. IgniteNow.org. It's a prophetic network. Hallelujah. But you're going to want to go get uh, registered for that. There's no limit, but you don't want to wait because you'll forget, and then you'll forget about the broadcast. You won't get a reminder, and then you will... Uh, miss it and then you won't get the link when you miss it so I'm telling you now I just put this up this afternoon go sign up for this when we get off the phone or when we get off the broadcast because this is going to be a barn burner some of you have just put up with Jezebel you don't even realize it some of you just don't even realize it I've written three books on this bad boy now and it's just never ceases to amaze me the new ways the new faces that Jezebel sports in order 
to kill, steal, and destroy from the saints. So please, please, please go register for that. Get involved in what's going to bless you, what's going to help you. I put this up on the internet maybe, I don't know, three or four hours ago. And already a hundred people have signed up. I think I did it about four o'clock this afternoon. So it's been four hours and already a hundred people signed up. I haven't put out a newsletter. I just put it on a few of my Facebook pages and it's getting massive traction. So go do that. Go sign up. I bless you in the name of the Lord. Learn how to battle back. Brenda Webb, so good to see you on the broadcast again. I know it's early California. I bless you. I thank you. Thank you tomorrow morning. Yeah, name your seed, Flavia.